And when I started out, I would stay still and I'd be reading the cards and working on my voice. And I, no offense to the announcers out there, including my brother, but it just, it was boring to me. Mm. I had this tiger in here that just needed to get released. And then I started doing other events where I'd, cause I mean, I used to bang a lot. I, I definitely had my share of the fighting world. And I know what these fighters go through and stuff. So I wanted to introduce them the way I would want to be introduced. Mm. And it just evolved like an evolutionary process to where either they're getting in my face or I'm getting in their face or they want a fist bump. I never instigate the fist bump. That's them coming at me. Yep. But it's such an amazing compliment of respect that they allow me in their space, right? Because they could easily just go, boop, mm. you know, get out of here, right? <laughs> um, but it just evolved over time. And, and I always said, it's not what I say, it's how I say it. So I put every bit of passion, emotion, I give them everything to enhance that moment for them because they're about to put their blood, sweat, and tears on the line in their lives, right? I've done that show with, I've blown my ACL the night before I had to do three UFCs in a row, three days in a row. The doctor said, stay in bed for a week. No, I went in there and did it on one leg. Oh I've, I've blown out back, 103 degree temp. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I can always get my job done. They're fighting, okay? There's a big difference. Like Dana White said, you'd have to shoot me to keep me out of the octagon. 